This week on Prepping 2.0. We all need to find that balance, that happy medium. Keep prepping, do things, get things that you need now, and don't overdo it. So find the balance. When disaster strikes, will you be prepared? This is Prepping 2.0 with authors and prepping experts, Glenn Tate and Shelby Gallagher. Online at prepping2-0.com. Get ready. Prepping 2.0 coming in three, two, one. Welcome, everyone. This is Shelby Gallagher over here at Prepping 2.0, joined by my co-host on the show and co-host in life, Glenn Tate. Hello, hello. Hey, we have a, I'm going to say it, another great show. Of course. Here's what we're going to, here's an overview of what we're going to be talking about. The name of the show is Staying Motivated to Prep 2021, and we're going to talk about staying motivated to prep, even in the current 2021 conditions, but not hyper prepping, which we're going to explain what that is. Balance. I know. Yeah. A little. I know. We're not normally known for that. Exactly. But we like to, you know, we learned a few things. Um, This was episode 53 back in October of 2019. We did the same topic, but it has so fundamentally changed with everything that's gone on since. October 2019, that we wanted to hit the refresh button and do an updated version, which I think is a lot better than episode 53. And in the after show, we're going to be talking about how the loosening of COVID restrictions across the country affects your preps. And I think that's huge to talk about, especially going forward. So, And we're going to flesh that all out coming up, but I'm excited yep. about this. No, yeah. it's, it's a good topic. So especially for the after show, one of the benefits of being a Patreon, you get to hear the after show. But before we dive into that, we have a few quick items. So real quick, we always talk about the top 100 things to go quickest in a collapse. You can find this list on our website, prepping2-0.com. It's actually become this list. Shopping list. It's become a shopping list as well as a little com- comedy relief in my mind because yeah. we're on number 10 this week, which is now that we're post-COVID toilet paper prepping. Yes. Rice, beans, and wheat. Ha, what? ha, 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 ha. You yeah. should all have that by now, I would That's hope. a prepping 1.0 thing. Yeah, yeah, it And is. just to explain, prepping 1.0 means doing the very basics, starting out, which everyone had to do, which we're all for. We'll ne- we're not oh, elitists goodness. here. We're not like, well, we're prepping 2.0ers, so prepping 1.0ers, why don't you go watch a... YouTube thing on bug out bags. No, we love prepping 1.0ers. We don't know what percentage of our audience is 1.0ers, but we're just happy to oh, have you wel- listening. We welcome. And the laughing is is not at them. Uh, the Absolutely. laughing is at the elitism that some people right. have. Right. The laughing is like about a year ago, it was very difficult yeah. to find rice, beans, and wheat. It exactly. was very difficult. So it's, the, that's where the humor comes. The update items. Of course, we're prepping, the, the focus of the show, prepping 2.0, which is that next step, which takes a variety of aspects we talk a lot about community communications night vision and something that is 1.0 and a 3.0 topic and a 2.0 topic is motivation because it's universal and that's what we're going to talk about today we have a couple announcements um we have a giveaway we haven't this done is this exciting we haven't done this in a way in a while but we love doing it we have partnered with the very good folks at partisan labs and they have a one-time pad communications ultra encrypted system it creates a one-time code for letters and numbers and then it creates a key to that that you give to somebody and whoever you give it to can decrypt it it is unbreakable it is Ooh. unbreakable and it's it's kind of cool so, so here's the thing partisan labs um www.partisanlabs.com it's a one-time pad these folks at partisan labs 100 percent solid patriots know this these, these guys don't goof around. The one-time pad is a $259 value. Uh, you only need to buy one unit. Having two is even better, but buying one is all you need. And here's a cool thing. You know, even though there's a giveaway, and we're going to be giving one away, I'll mention that in a moment, how to do that. From April 21st, when this show airs, to the end of May, May 31st, uh, 10% discount. And the uh, coupon code for that is prep two zero. April 2-1. This will be in the show notes, so you can find it there. So, here's how to enter. Send an email to glentate123 at gmail.com. Our email addresses are available on the prepping2-0.com website. So, send an email glentate123 at gmail.com. You'll be entered to win. I draw these randomly, and then you'll get yourself uh, shipped a $259 one-time pad, but... You should consider buying one, too. So there you go. That is our Partisan Labs 
shout out announcement and do you have an announcement i do just real quick i always like to give for our regular um ongoing super awesome sponsors love to give them a quick shout out to um emp shield great folks over there they have developed a device that uh, will protect your device whether it be your home or your car from an emp or coronal mass ejection nice. got the word in there correctly mm-hmm. so great folks over there they have a great coupon code you can find them as well on our website prepping 2 zero.com click over on friends and affiliates um you'll find their logo there click on it go shopping use the coupon code prepping 2.0 you get 50 dollars off each device not just like for your whole order but each device and their devices run in the 300 dollars range so it's a pretty decent discount so check them out over there um they've been incredibly popular and uh good stuff Yes, very much so. Well, let's jump into our topic, which is staying motivated to prep 2021. And a, an initial note about this, for the most part, those of you listening are not prepping 1.0ers, although, as we said, we, we welcome, welcome you. Welcome. And so you don't need to be motivated to start prepping. Now, if this were a prepping 1.0 audience, there would be a lot of emphasis on motivating people to start prepping. If you're a 2.0-er, you've started prepping, but you need motivation to keep prepping. Mm -hmm. And that's what today's show is about. Now, there are two seemingly contradictory sides, in our opinion, of the prepping motivation coin, two sides of the prepping motivation coin. The first is prepper fatigue, and that means you prep and you prep and you prep, and you're tired or you're out of money or your family thinks you're a weirdo, so you stop. So a pause or a stopping of prepping is what we call prepper fatigue. Well, we're here and the majority of the show is about how to fight that by motivating you to continue to prepare. The other side of the coin is hyper prepping and that's doing too much too fast, which burns you out. It it uses up a lot of your money. You're usually very emotional when you do hyper prepping and you make poor decisions. And here's another fac- facet of this that people don't ever think about, but we do on this show, because this is what we do all the time. Shelby and I, like, we wake up in the morning. Hi, how are you? Oh, good morning. Good morning. Kiss, kiss. And then it's like, so hyper prepping. Let's talk about Let's that. Let's talk about so that. So over coffee in the mornings. <laughs> yeah. On, on if, show day, this on, is what we do. Hyper prepping, not only do you do too much too fast, but the people around you, primarily your family, might think you're insane. <laughs> and that's a problem. We're used to that, though. In the- <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> we don't care. That's why we're married now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we don't have that problem anymore. Um, but if the people around you, like your family, think that you've lost your mind, you lose leadership credibility, and it's going to be harder to convince them to do the things they need to do. But we're getting into the hyper prep. Yes. Shelby, tell folks about what our solution to this is. Hint, hint, happy medium. Yes, the happy medium is not necessarily something that Tate Gallagher household has perfected. No, we're kind of. We're going to talk about. Extreme. We're going to give ourselves some some uh, criticism today over that. Some friendly criticism. I think we all suffer from this, and that's we all need to find that balance, that happy medium. Keep prepping, do things, get things that you need now, and don't overdo it. So find the balance, the bell, and the flip side of that, or to, in addition to that, is a better way to say it. Uh, here at the, our household, we've had to learn that too. What's changed in the world since 2019's show, Glenn? Well, um, in October 2019, and we listened to the show this morning, and it was it was charming. Again, over coffee. It, this it is was, what we do. It was like leave it to Beaver. You know, it was so charming, and and people didn't have any real problems in October of 2019. This and what we what's weird to listen to is knowing. Now, what we didn't know then is that in five months, we'd be locked in our homes. I mean, all the COVID stuff and all the run on supplies, all the run on TP, all the the buying up of guns and ammunition and all of that other stuff. So this was the the heyday, the the pre problematic era. And it's funny, Shelby. Here it is. October 2019. The birds are chirping. Everything's wonderful. The sun is shining. And we were still still saying, even then, you guys, you got to stay motivated. You got to stay mm-hmm. motivated. This is a long game, not a short game. Oh, and the stress level then was amazing. Yeah. So another thing that's changed in the world since 2019 show, many of you prepped hard. I mean, hard in 2020. We certainly did. And we'll talk about that in a moment because how we did things 
isn't a show about how we did it. It's a, it's to let you see that you were not alone, but it, it illustrates a point. So a lot of people prepped really hard in 2020. COVID lockdowns were freaking people out. We had riots. We had a very contentious election. We had the arson fires, crazy yeah. arson fires of Especially 20. Of 20 here yeah. On the West Coast. 2020 was a really good year to prep hard. And if you didn't see a reason to prep hard in 2020, I question why you're even listening to this show. Mm, yeah. Well, maybe you figured it out and you're listening now. So, okay, that's a good reason. But it was pretty obvious is our point in 2020 that prepping was required and prepping hard was required. 2019, I've mentioned this so many times, but doggone it's true and it explains a lot. 2019 was the golden age of gun and ammo avail- availability. I look back, you know, 18 cents around for nine millimeter. And I really actually said this out loud, like the dope that I am. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd like to see prices come down to about 10 cents around and then I'll get oh, a who bunch. who said that? I wonder who. Mm-hmm. Don't be me. Yep. Another thing that um, in 2019 was amply available was precious metal, gold and silver. It's still available now, but it, it costs more because everybody and their dog, like entire nations, are buying gold and silver. So it was a golden age of things being available. And another thing that's changed Shelby, if you want to flip the page there, we do have an outline because we try to, you know, give people a really good thing. What is something else that has changed since 2019? Well, many of us, us, you and I, as well as many in our audience are relocating and that really affects how you prep. Well, and we're going to go into that now with our own, time, yeah. our own story, but that is another thing that's changed. And candidly, another reason why a, a topic we did in 2019 has just fundamentally been transformed. Yeah. It's like Obama got involved in it, fundamentally transformed yeah. it. Um, so the next topic is, shall we tell folks what the next topic is? Well, in the, 2019, the, the, the 2019 show was a lot about the infrastructure and the, and the tribe building we did in 2019. And that's what, when we were listening to that show, it's like, man, that has changed a lot. We really need to talk about that. We are definitely still, obviously, still pro-tribe. You cannot be a lone wolf in the prepping world. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. But um, other things, that we, we recapped in that show. And we're not going to go over too much, but how we cleared land for ourselves. We built a chicken coop. We did the rabbit hutch. We we did try building barbecues. We did all of these things because we were building and nurturing deep, deep roots here. So that's really changed. One, because we're moving in. Two, because 2020 happened. So another thing that's changed since 2019 is in 2020, we were building up the forward operating base. We've described this before. Multiple times. Western yeah. Washington is where we are now and soon will be departing from. Very isolated, very rural, very conservative, still in Washington State, which is why we're leaving. We did a whole show, episode 125. Well, and very quickly, let me mm-hmm. just add this yeah. as a little nugget here. Right now it's conservative. Oh, yeah. In, in discussion, let me tell, I want to say this to people because we said this in recent shows. We've had recent conversations with our awesome realtor in the area who has said, for the longest time, my customer, my buyer was this demographic. For the longest time, now my demographic is 100% people in Seattle fleeing and coming here and working remotely. Yes, because they don't. They saw their city burn down yeah. in 2020. And it's not even a political thing because most of them are, you know. They're just trying to work. Brainwashed communists, but they just... They just want to be away from the fires and all the disruptions and all that other stuff and and all the homelessness and everything else. So they're coming here. So we had in our mind that our place would be for our team. We're going to talk about that more. um, The forward operating base. Yes, we were in a bad place, but we thought if we had enough people and enough stuff and enough of a support network with our neighbors and everything that we were building, that everything would be okay. And so we were really building up that forward operating base idea. I will jump quickly, but not spoil the discussion. Um, In Montana, we're not a forward operating base. We are are inside friendly lines and we don't have to approach our preps with this idea that we have to be the one-stop shop for about 15 to 30 people. And we don't have to take care of 15 or 30 people because we're in Montana. I cannot reiterate this enough. By that Sheer change right there. Yes. The, the sheer purpose of our of our location changing, it changes everything for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. It I mean, I, I cannot stress that enough. So 
if your purpose for prepping, I encourage you to stop in for a moment. And go. I'm I'm prepping my home, my location for this reason because when things get really really spicy and the collapse uh, finally like the the sh- the curtain has fallen, will serve this purpose. When that purpose changes. Yeah. Adapt. Adapt. That's which what is prepping exactly. is all about. We, we are preppers. We are adaptive. We adapt to situations. We have plans for various situations. And it would be the height of stupidness. And I almost fell into this trap. I'm going to be honest with people. When we first came up with the idea in about December of 2020 about moving to Montana or moving to the... Or just moving in general. Moving yeah. in general. One of the first thoughts that crossed my mind, and luckily <laughs> I purged it from my mind rather quickly, was... <laughs> You know, we've we spent so much time and money. We've built this place. We should up. just stay. We should just stay because we've got so much invested in this place. And I said, we nope. had we had that conversation. I said to you, I initially, guess my thought wasn't purged quick as quickly as I remember. Right. It. I said to you, should we move with with things that are the X Y Z that is going on around us? And you were like, no, this no. Two weeks later, then you were like. Honey, should we move? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, that's okay, right. Okay, okay, here I we go. I remembered that wrong. I remembered that to make myself look better. And thankfully, you you crushed that image with the listeners. So thank you for making me look better. No, but baby. now now I remember. He's yeah. exactly right. And so you have to adapt and everything. Um, do you think this would be a good time to mention a couple sponsors? Yeah, let's do that. Because here's one I want to mention. Super great people. Backwoods Home Magazine. Mm-hmm. I sat down this last week and read one of the the last couple of issues that we've gotten. And I, and when I say read, generally I open it up and I might read an article here or read um, a blurb here or a letter to the editor here. I forgot what great recipes they have. Yeah. I mean, like these good classic, like a good shepherd's pie recipe, a good and creative recipes, how to make a good salad out of dandelions or whatever. This kind of those homesteading kind of recipes that are very seasonal with, um, you know, your harvest of that time of year. So I encourage you go over to check out Backwoods Home Magazine. Use the coupon code six off. It's the digit six OFF. You get six dollars off your subscription, which is which really is great. Only great. forty nine dollars to start with, so it's great pretty resource. pretty affordable. Exactly. So I, we were talking about building up the forward operating base in twenty twenty and how that was that kind of our, our our mindset. And what did that mean in twenty twenty? It meant that we got, and we'll talk about this, I think, in a little more detail later, we got a stupid amount of food. And I don't mean stupid like okay. irrational. I mean like a ton of Well, we of were going to feed a multiple bunch of people, people for and a families long time. and kids. So we, we buckled down. We did it. Um, we would spend our weekends going to cash and carry and bringing back a ton of food, like a pickup bed load of food. Just today, we were talking about this. It's Saturday when we're recording this, and it's a relaxed day. We had plenty of time to prepare. We're going to go do a couple other things. And and we remarked that in, a year ago, a year in ago. 2020, we would have to come in and get the show recorded by 9 or 10 in the morning, and we had a full day. We had to go to the big city to go get um, cash and carry, you know, food. We'd come back, we'd inventory it. It'd be dark, and we're like trying to do all this stuff. We food, have no save time. It, pack it up. Yeah, we have no time to do anything, and so that's a lot of what we did. And was then we food. go to work on Monday, exhausted. Yeah. yeah, and we did that for about two or three months, pretty hard. So when we say um, that, be balanced. Yeah, we weren't. We, we weren't doing that. The other thing we got, we got all kinds of things you'd need in a forward operating base: shelters, tents, things like that, um, heaters. Um, kit, a lot of kit, um, w- more than I needed, but I knew that I would be outfitting people. So we did all kinds of stuff. So that's what we were doing in 2020. Well, now I think, and this is a dangerous thing to say. So mark, mark the timestamp on this and write it down listeners and then like use it against me later when I contradict myself. Um, we kind of have all the stuff we need. Now there's more stuff we want, but I'm talking about need, need. I think we have the stuff that we need. Yeah. And so you got to adapt. You got mm-hmm. you can't be in that mode of like every single weekend. And, and let me be candid. Every single weekend in this period of 2020, we would go and we would fill up a pickup truck with 600, 700, 800, 1100 dollars worth of food. And um, you can't keep doing that. Number one, we've run out of storage space. We've yeah, run well, out of storage space. And I want to jump back. The goal was to fill a storage space that we got. And we talk about how mm-hmm. we bought a shed. We wanted to fill it. We did. I will. I would say February 2020, shed wasn't full. 
May 2020, shed was full. Yeah. So it got full. And now what we've realized is we have all this stuff. That stuff is not going to waste. It's going to Montana. It's going to Montana, <laughs> and it's going to... We're prepped for Montana. Yeah. We don't have to do it. We've had this discussion. We don't need to go out and buy any more food. The food that we buy will be to keep our freezers full so mm-hmm. that we have... You know, we'll buy food in bulk so that we can kind of right. keep our pantry Standard. going. It is, our preps are good. Thank goodness, because you know, inflation's coming. That's a show from a few weeks ago, yes. Exactly. So we, we kind of ran out of space, and candidly, we ran out of energy, and it was a bit of a fine. It wasn't a bit. It was a financial strain. Um, and so, oh, and, you know, now, as opposed to 2020. And I want to say, yeah. say this differently than you wrote it on our seat, sheet in front of us. Thank goodness we did all that prepping yes. in 2020, because had we not... Key, combining prepping, that kind of prepping with your current chemo treatments mm-hmm. would have been a hardship. And then combine it with moving. Game over. Shall yeah, we done. Have, <laughs> this is great because what a great example of we plan and we do the hard work not knowing what the future is. In 2020, we do all this hard work because in 2021, we couldn't do it. No way. There's We couldn't do it. And then we wouldn't have all this stuff. We wouldn't have anything to take to Montana. Right. And there, so there's, ble- there's, yes, we probably, we overdid it. We were not balanced a year ago. I'm glad we weren't at the time. Yeah. Because right now we can adjust. We're going to change the plan and we're going to be prepped where we land, which is great. And we can make the focus on you and your health and know that if, when, and if a collapse happened, not if, that's just. Ha 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 You're funny. When the collapse really happens, inflation really hits this year mm-hmm. and all the indicators show that. We're good. We got the food and we can relax. And here's how we tie this all into being motivated for prepping. The motivation, the strong motivation we had in 2020 really helped us out because now in 2021, when we can't do all that stuff, we've already got it done. So that's why you should be motivated to do stuff now because... Nobody expected to relocate to Montana. I sure as heck didn't expect well, to have this health expected, issue. Right. Nobody expected the cancer. So if you're in good health now, you may not have it in a year or two. Yeah. Do it now and provide for your family now so that if and when that happens, God help Isn't that the heart of prepping? It is. You know, in a way, we've always talked about this, the, um, you know, prepping for a personal SHTF situation. That is, that's This it. illness is is such a thing mm-hmm. and, and all the relocating and quite honestly, the money that it costs to relocate. We've been very candid about this, that we don't think this is some panacea and it's not like, oh, hey, everybody can do this, but I'm telling you, it's costly. And so we could not prep right now as we head into riot season 2021, Mm -hmm. inflation and all the other stuff we're heading into. We now have the stuff that we couldn't get now. And that's prepping. At the at a cheaper price than it was a year Mm -hmm. ago. Seriously, it's it's awesome. But okay, so... um, Relocating is is a big one. Um, we're expanding, improving this show. That's something that, that in 2020, or pardon me, that, that right now, when we did it in 2020, but in 2021 here, we spend a lot of time and energy. We've got the video bonus shows. We're starting the whole this relocation. This office that we're sitting in. Yeah. We're talking, we're doing an entire like like focus on relocating stuff. We're going to have an announcement in the next show about how we can help folks relocate to other states. That's taken a tremendous amount of work. So besides being ill, besides relocating, we are expanding and improving this show, which takes a lot of time, which means we couldn't prep as much if we weren't already prepped. Right, and, and we did so much of that pre-2021. I mm-hmm. will add this too, and before we go into the break, good news, folks. I'm excited to, a mini announcement. Um, where we're going in Montana, we've already procured Prepping 2.0 Studios. Yes. We're excited about that. Yes. We're yeah. going to have a new studio. It's very cool and so, great Wi-Fi. So don't go away, folks. Um, we're going to talk about, we're just going to keep talking about this and how 2020 really changed a lot of gears for people for prepping in 2021. And we have so much more to talk about. Don't go away. More of Prepping 2.0 with authors Glenn Tate and Shelby Gallagher is coming right up. Hear all our previous shows free online at prepping2-0.com. PrepperNet, where preppers unite. Looking to meet other like-minded people in your area? Looking to start your own prepper group? Already have a group? Join PrepperNet.com. PrepperNet has gathered the biggest names in the industry to help unite preppers everywhere. Join John Jacob Schmidt, Scott Hunt, Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy, Glenn Tate, Shelby Gallagher, Charlie Hogwood, Samuel Culper, Survivor Jane, Rick Austin, Franklin Horton, Ryan Mitchell, and Brian Duff. Our team is united. Check us out at PrepperNet.com. 
PrepperNet.com. PrepperNet, where preppers unite. PrepperNet.com. When the grid goes down, darkness will descend fast. Used to be there was nothing you could do about an EMP, electromagnetic pulse, or CME, coronal mass ejection. Now you can protect your electronics, protect your family, thanks to EMP Shield. EMP Shield invented a simple to install device that prevents whatever's connected to it from frying in an EMP or CME, and it costs just a few hundred dollars. EMP Shield has been tested by independent laboratories and passed muster with the government, which has ordered lots of them. Google EMP Shield and see for yourself. And save some money. Get a $50 discount per device. Go to prepping2-o.com. Click on the Friends and Affiliates page, then click on the EMP Shield logo. At checkout, use coupon code PREPPING2.0. It's all one word. Shelby Gallagher here. We found that you need to layer your food preps. Yeah, this is Glenn Tate here. A lot of times, the hardest part of layering is the long-term foods. We love new mana foods, which have a 25-year shelf life and are non-GMO. Also, organic meals are available. New mana comes in family-style portions and in bulk. This is not backpacking food. It's family meals that last for at least 25 years. The perfect freeze-dried part of your food layering. You can get a sample of Numana meals for $19.95 and see for yourself. You will be amazed. Prepping 2.0 listeners get a 10% discount by entering the code PREP. Go to Numana.com or click the link on the Prepping 2.0 website. Give it a try. Numana.com. That is N-U-M-A-N-N-A.com. Abe Lincoln here. In 1773, patriots broke the chains of British tyranny by throwing tea into Boston Harbor. On that day, Americans began drinking coffee. We celebrate that event daily here at Minutemen Coffee. All men are created equal. <laughs> coffee is not. Minutemen Coffee is roasted to perfection in small batches. Old, smooth, and never bitter. Shipped to you fresh daily. Whole bean, ground, or our patented pods. www.minutemencoffee.com Prepping 2.0 is about that next level of prepping. One of the key 2.0 items to have is bulletproof body armor plates. I used to think body armor was too tactical for a regular guy like me, but it isn't. Give yourself, your family, and your team an unfair advantage when bullets are flying. Body armor used to be expensive and hard to get. Not anymore. KD Armor, and that stands for come and take it, makes solid and affordable body armor for normal people. Get body armor while you can. The clowns in Congress are trying to prohibit future sales. KD Armor is the place to get it. C-A-T-I armor.com. Prepping 2.0 listeners get a 10% discount when you use the coupon code GRANT. Now, more of Prepping 2.0 with authors Glenn Tate and Shelby Gallagher. Welcome back, everyone. This is Shelby Gallagher over here at Prepping 2.0. Real quick, though, before I get started, I want to talk about kind of how this also has prepared us for landing in Montana. But I want to, speaking of Montana, yeah. I want to give a quick shout out to one of our great friends over there, Jared Savick, great realtor. Um, he and his wife are preppers themselves, and they know really well what a good idea what it takes to make a good prepper property, whether you would like a turnkey or to build your own retreat. They, um, they are realtors, and they have properties in town, out of town, and way out of town. Where is town, might you ask? Kalispell, Montana. Mm -hmm. But don't let that throw You're you off. You're not limited with no, Jared not at all Kalispell. Limited. So great people over there. I encourage you, if you are considering this relocation thing that we've talked about a lot, and a lot of people are doing, check them out at Seize the Day Montana. Seize the Day MT .com, or just a uh, Put that in your search engine and try it out. Um, and when you send a quick email to them, let them know that Glenn and Shelby sent you. And uh, yeah, great folks over there. Um, speaking of Montana, one of the great things and all of our putting down deep roots here in Western Washington did. We did the chicken coop. We did the rabbit hutch. We did skills. We did the greenhouse. We know now. We now know. Let's try that again. Yeah. More caffeine for English. me. Um, how to do that wiser and better and sleeker. Yes. When, when we do this in Montana. Yeah, I mean, our Washington home in, in a lot of ways, and we can say this now, looking back in hindsight, kind of a starter kit. Yeah, and, but it was and, a, yeah. But I mean, we didn't know it at the time, but boy, there is benefit is our point. It's not all bad. We're going to know how to do this quicker, easier, cheaper, and better. And we're going to duplicate this minus the forward operating base yeah. concept um, because we don't need to do that. So again, doing this in the past, doing this hard in 2020, and a little bit in 2019 has been useful. It will be useful. Oh, nothing and we're will so go to glad waste. We, we did it this way again, being prepared. Well, 
The main topic of the show is the following, how to stay motivated in 20. 20- 21. What's the first point? With oh, that? nothing has gotten better in this country. Yeah. And I, one of the things I said in, in that past show, and we can talk, we can joke about it now. And I'm like, there's, there's no undoing this. There's no reset button. There's no, let's have a committee and undo all this damage. There's no button on a computer that says, take us back to 1988. No. Yeah. So boy, isn't, that there's would be nothing nice. that can take us back to 2019. It's, so it's got, everything has gotten way worse. Bad things are, are happening. They're going to continue to happen. And not just tomorrow. They're happening now. So by the time this show um, happens, whatever it does. Later it, April when later it Later April. Right now, riots are happening. They're just going to be that much more. Whenever we talk about riots, we, we always talk about this is what's happening in several cities across the country. They are happening. They're very violent. In Portland, they're doing the whole night after night after night. Um, Seattle really hasn't ticked off yet. Minneapolis is a mess. Um, L.A. is having them. I believe Chicago. It, it, you know, now in two weeks well, when you guys hear this, it's going to be that much worse. Yeah. And they're little starter riots yeah, now. It's but the this spring will season. Air, yeah. This will air on April 21st. And we suspect that by April 21st, the Chauvin trial might yes. be over. The uh, Duante, uh, I forget his last name, Williams, I want to say, in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, that could be kicking off. So it's obvious that yeah. in the spring and summer of 2021, we're going to see riots bigger than we saw in 2020 for a variety of reasons that we've already covered. <clears throat> here's, here's another way to stay motivated in 2021. Be fair to yourself. Prepping and go easy on yourself. Prepping is exhausting. It's okay to take a break. But like us, you probably already did take a break. Now is the time to get back on the saddle and get the work done. So we're acknowledging that this is exhausting and breaks are needed. But we're saying, hopefully you've taken your break and now it's time to get back to work. And that should be motivating. Well, and I think there's two things happening here. One we definitely feel that here in, in Western Washington, when winter comes and it gets dark at 3.30 and cold and wet and it, it rains day after day after day. I'm not mm-hmm. one for going out and rearranging stuff in a cold shed. Just mm-hmm. not. But when summer comes, the day gets, I mean, now the, the sky is blue-ish. Still has it's a, gorgeous. Until 8.30 at night. Um, it's warmer. So while the... So while everyone else is using the warm season to riot, use this warmer season to, <laughs> to, uh, prep. to prep. And let, that be your, let it be your motivator, right? That's one of your best ideas you've had in hours. I know. I have. So the other one that's happening, and I think you should talk about this because yeah. inflation's really kicking in. Yeah, inflation's kicking in. We talked about that in a previous show. And when we say inflation, we're not talking hyperinflation right now. It, that's coming. <laughs> we're not saying, yeah, man, it's Venezuela out there. It takes a year's salary to buy a cup of coffee because it doesn't because that's dumb. Or we don't have to exaggerate. Here's what we know. The real inflation rate, and forget the government that said it was 2.6%, and then they had the audacity to say the core inflation rate is 1.6%. Nobody out there believes that. As far as we can tell by looking at price, actual real price increases, it's about 9% right now, which is bad inflation. That's like 1970s uh, inflation. It's going to get worse. It's going to get double digits every... I don't know, a couple months or something, it's going to go up a few percentage points. It's going to be obvious, even to your normie friends, you know, who don't follow these things in a couple months. By the end of the year, by the end of 2021, it's going to be all people are talking about. And it's going to really, really affect you. Because guess what? You don't get a 9% raise this year. You don't get, and if let's say inflation is 25% at the end of the year, making that number up is possible. Do you really think you're going to get a 25% raise? So you're really really going to feel this. So you're getting a preview right now at say 9%. We know that the government is not going to spend less money and the government's not going to increase interest rates where they need to be at about 10 to 15% because it would destroy everything. So that's not going to happen. So inflation is rising. Buy stuff now. That is um, a, a great reason to prep now. A great motivation to prep is that stuff's going to cost way more money. I mean, it's going to make 2020 price increases look like child's play. So you need to get stuff now. You'll save money. And also one of the other, I don't know, side effects, if you will. I'm into side effects now. I've learned all about side effects recently. One Mm. of the side effects of this inflation is supply disruptions. And when a contract says we'll provide these, um, oh, I don't know, microchips for $5. And then when inflation kicks in, the manufacturer 
it costs ten dollars to make them. The manufacturer is going to say we're not shipping any microchips. So there's supply disruptions that come with inflation. So make sure you get stuff now because you can get stuff that will be far less available later. I have the weirdest example, and you'll know what I'm talking about. To this, we bought. I want to say last fall, sometime October, November. 12, 14 sheets yeah. of quarter-inch plywood mm-hmm. to help fortify the rabbit hutch that was definitely not super winterproof. And then um, the holidays kicked in, and we have them just stacked up in our greenhouse right now. Mm-hmm. And as we talked about moving, we're like, well, we're not, we're not going to do that project. We're not going to do that. So, I don't know, probably about January we were talking about, yeah, we should, yeah, yeah, we'll just run that stuff to the dump or burn it or whatever. Oh, heck oh, no. no. We have slabs of gold <laughs> in have, our greenhouse oh my right goodness. now. Yeah. We are going to make a lot of money. We're going to pay for a, probably part of a truck rental with that yeah. quarter inch plywood. Holy crap. Yeah. I mean, it's selling right now. Who here's listening going, how do I reach Shelby? Uh, yeah. I'll make you a deal, Shelby. It's selling for like 40, 50 bucks a we sheet. We bought it for like 12 to $18, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And so somebody comes by and hauls it. We sell it for 30 bucks a sheet. And we're not like here to make money, but. Yes, we I, are. Well, no, it's not that much money when you get in to it yeah. but but we were actually thinking about like burning it and stuff because it was only 12 bucks it was no big deal you know we we know what we got we know the value of it so we'll <laughs> trade it nuts? for like Isn't a ford f-150 or something within six months that's what happened to just wood supplies yeah building supplies yeah here's here's some examples going back in time now to 2019 versus now mm-hmm. and why you should be motivated to prep now in 2019 uh, go, guns, gold and silver, and building materials were far less money, number one. And number two, were far more available. The two go hand in hand as demand goes up and supply stays the same. Stuff costs more money. So you could get all that stuff in 2019. Here's our point. Here's a reason to be motivated. I can't say it enough ways. Get that stuff now while you can and lose your normalcy bias or normalcy bias. We're gonna pick one pronunciation of that word. I think we're going with normalcy bias because we got a a Patreon Senate thing and said, could you please pronounce it one consistent way? We're gonna try our very best. Well, okay. Should we say potato or potato? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's yeah. we had a Patreon reach out to us and say, can you say that one way or the other? I say normalcy bias. You say normalcy bias. Yeah, we're going to go with normalcy bias yeah. just because so, anyway. And I just, let's just say this. There are so many more important things out there yeah. than how I, I say normalcy bias or Venezuela. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you got to lose your normalcy bias. Mm-hmm. It, what you can't say is, well, this costs more than last time. I'm not paying fill in the blank amount for that. Okay, then you're not getting whatever it is that yep. you need. You're not getting and quarter inch plywood. Quarter inch plywood is only going to be more expensive a couple uh, uh, months from now. And then when you need it, you're going to kick yourself. This is what prepping is all about. Now, don't go buy stuff you don't need just because the Certainly. price may go up. I'm not going to go and buy uh, a bunch of uh, uh, butterfly stamps uh, and because the price will go up. It's got to be stuff you need. And by the way, everyone needs plywood. So here's another motivating factor. Here's another motivation for 2021. You've come this far. Don't half-ass it. Don't regret getting to the prepping finish line just because you didn't keep going on with your preps. Prepping is a long process. It's now, a lifestyle, really. We just got done saying we have a bunch of, we have all the stuff we need. But so, yes, I guess that's a little contradictory. Well, but, but we, we ha- don't. We have all this stuff we need, but we are... Where our focus will change is landing where we need to land and then customizing our new yeah. location, which will mean the chicken coops, p- probably a, a different version of a greenhouse. and Alternate energy. Right. We're going to get very serious yes. about that. We're going to have a cistern for water. We might have a couple. So we're so going to still be prepping. We're still going to be prepping. That's a good point. We but just, as far as stuff like stuff you go to a store and buy. We don't really need it. We don't really need it. And that's something that. Uh, it's an evolution. What, what we just said. Please do yourself. Take kind of a mental inventory. You know, we got this done in 2020 and we got this done. We really should work on this over here. It's multifaceted. It's not just going to the store and buying number 10 tins of chili. There's more to it than that. Be adaptive. Understand it's a full spectrum, which is what we're doing, which is what we're doing by coming on this show and saying, yeah, we kind of need we need to adjust our focus, too. I mean, we're not like Superman. You know, well, and that's our next point. Actually, we're we're kind of already into that. Isn't the next point is don't forget to prep on skills. I I don't need to buy number ten ki- ten cans of chili, but I ki- here's a good example. I kind of got started on the rabbit 
Yeah. Rabbit. And I was ready to, I was ready to start. some classes, some butchering classes. And I was ready to breed them and start making, you know, filling the freezer this spring. That stopped when the decision was made to move. I didn't breed them because I don't, I didn't want to start a process I couldn't finish. I will certainly continue yeah. that skill in Montana once we get settled and landed and, and it, it, yeah, so it's one of those don't don't stop your skills. You may have to adjust. You may have to like stop and start like I'm going to do, but it's still there and I'm still reading about it. I'm still learning about it. I'm still I'm still I'm still. What a great example of when we talk about motivation, we're not talking about simply we're not saying, "Oh, get off the couch and go do X." No, no, no. You do X, you adjust because you're adaptive. And then ding ding ding, here's the big point. You start over again. You you continue it. You do it again. It is harder, I'm going to guess, mm-hmm. to say, well, we got to build a new rabbit hutch. We got to do all this stuff over again. It's harder than just having it sitting out there in the yard. But that's the motivation you need when circumstances change is to say, we're going to get back on the saddle and we're going to get back to work. That's our point with this entire show. Well, and what's exciting to me, and, and this is with everything, I now know, after having done a rabbit hutch, I know how to do it bigger, better, and better Mm -hmm. for next time. I also know that we've really wanted to work on um, other skills, hunting, fishing, all of that. And we did some of that, but now we'll be able to do it better. And we need to adapt to the new environment. We'll be doing rabbits in a a winter climate that is much colder, much more... uh, drastic than in western washington so the learning is going to always continue which is always part of prepping so no that's that's so true and by the way so now's the time to take some classes watch some youtube videos and may i just say get the pam radio electronic flashcards and learn all you need to learn about comms anyway you guys have heard about pam radio you know how to order it enough said about that so real quick yes. speaking of always keeping on keeping up with your preps too and just in general a couple of our awesome sponsors want to talk about katie armor good folks over there they specialize in steel body plates mm-hmm. uh, body armor uh katie is c-a-t-i stands for come and take it armor um this is one of those things i encourage you to get it before you can't yeah, classic example yes cl- uh there are uh, those in government who are going to want to outlaw such protective devices <laughs> You know, because they're dangerous or something. I don't know. Right. Anyway, go to their website. They fall on your foot. It hurts. That's about the only danger. It's (laughs) it's entirely self-protection. But yes. crazy. Anyway, go to their website. uh, Use the word grant at check-in to get 10% off. Other great one I want to talk about is uh, New Mana Foods. They are, oh my goodness, boy, many of our listeners use them during covid 2020 and getting stocked up on food. Do not stop doing that. They specialize in bulk freeze-dried foods. Last 25 years. So if you oh get goodness. some now, it's not like it's going to go to waste. Mm-mm. We have some and we're not. Mm-hmm. We're, it's going to Montana. So I encourage you to... The mac and cheese is oh delicious. Oh my goodness. They're enchiladas. Oh yeah. Anyway, it's any hoosers, if you go to our website, again, they're over there on the Friends and Affiliates page, use the coupon code PREP, lowercase P-R-E-P, at checkout. You get 10% off your order. Here's another reason to round out the reasons to stay motivated to prep in 2021. A lot of these things you probably know, but you need to hear it again. I'm that way. I need to hear these things again, right? Think of your family. This is why you should prep and why you should stay on it. Even if you're tired or there's no riots today, there will be in a while. This is why you need to to think your family, especially your kids who are depending on you. Number one You should just think about them. That should be your reason for existing. That's your job as as a parent, as as a grown-up, is to take care of people. Um, But let's look at it this way. How would you feel stuff breaks apart as it will? Every indicator is that that this collapse is even more likely and going to come quicker. Everyone listening to this agrees and understands that. So you've got a bigger problem coming quicker than we all thought. How are you going to explain to your kids or your wife or your parents or your grandkids or whatever it may be? How are you going to explain to your family? Yeah, I started doing this stuff. I figured out how to take very simple and inexpensive steps to really save us right now. But, you know, I just kind of lost my motivation. Don't don't have that conversation. Don't have to have that talk. If you stick to it, you keep going, you keep going, and you, you don't have to do it all in one day. Rome wasn't built in a day. You've got to stay doing this because 
your life depends on it. Your family's life depends on it. Maybe your friends and neighbors, if they're part of your, your system, it all depends on it. And I can't stress this enough. Little teeny things you do now, that number 10 tin of chili, watching that YouTube video and figuring out that skill, all these little things, any one of them can end up having a huge effect, a huge positive effect. When that number 10 tin, tin of chili that's about $8 now is about $25, possibly by the end of the year, and that is not an unlikely that scenario. Is not, that is very likely. How are you going to feel? How are you going to feel when your wages haven't gone up? But everything costs more, and you don't have enough money for that number 10 tin of chili. And you remember Glenn Tate and Shelby Gallagher saying, if you do it now, it's eight bucks. Think about it. And let me, I want to encapsulate that thought right there. Right now is the time to capture value. Yes. This early season of 2021, the first half of 2021, is because the next part of last year, it was lockdown, COVID, devastate the economy. Now is going to be the aftershocks of that. And part of devastating the economy is we've talked about it in extensively inflation. Um, Dan, the food industry guy has told us inflation's coming. Now is when you capture value and you can't get caught up. And I, and I use this example recently. I remember being able to buy frozen pizzas on sale for $1.99 regularly priced two ninety nine or three fifty. Now now I'm lucky if I can get them on sale for two ninety nine, right? So it's that whole that whole thing. So here's one thing I still do and and this is the gentle prepping, the medium balance and prepping. Um one of our fans out on social media put um a picture from Costco of the new version of canned beef that they have that come in sleeves like their tuna does, where mm-hmm. you have like four or five cans in a sleeve. It's a new brand that they haven't always had before. Thought that was interesting. And I saw it at our Costco. I'm like, you know, I'm going to buy a couple of sleeves of that and see, you know, I don't know, see what happens. If you're out there and about and you see some canned food on sale, grab six or eight of them or grab a few sleeves. It doesn't of, go bad. It doesn't. Grab those canned The price food. goes up and the food is still <laughs> as edible when the price is double. Absolutely. How can you not do this? You don't need to go do the panicking that we did, certainly. We didn't do panicking, I would say. We did it at a very high We had clip. an army to feed. We had an army to feed. At the time, it seemed as if we had an army to feed, and now we don't. And we had all indicators telling us that there's going to be food shortages. Those indicators, by the way, are still there. What we have, according to Dan, I want to re- remind people, Dan, the food industry guy, has said, oh, the shortages are still there. The food industry has figured out a way to kind of sugarcoat it, make it, which they're very good at, by the way, making. So that's why I can't find Diet Coke vanilla anymore. I'm not going to buy it anyway. Because it's a Coke product and they said people should be right. less white. So I'm not going to buy Coke racism. products anymore. We but like that's that. why you can't find those kind of specialty flavors or you know, they, companies have learned to pare down their product line and sell what's important. I've noticed that a lot. So shelves still appear full, but they're not full of foofy things Mm -hmm. so the food industry is still experiencing this hyperinflation is going to kick in so the things that are available are slowly jacking up in price and yeah it's it's still here they're just making it not seem like it's here when i say they i mean kind of the industries and if you you keep prepping at a moderate pace you can ameliorate a lot of these problems unless you like vanilla diet coke and then i don't really have an answer for you but i mean those burps have got to taste awful with with cola and vanilla anyway we want to we want to end this segment uh with the other half of the prepping yes. coin the other side of the prepping coin which is hyper prepping it is a problem too this usually happens when there's a crisis going on classic COVID. example yeah, COVID lockdown in March 2020. Everyone's driving around all Saturday. Jeff Reynolds, you know who you are, looking for toilet paper. <laughs> that was awesome. That was if, a funny story he you, told. Well, and just he put it out there on social media as like this hunting expedition. And if you followed him. It was like him, a diary. It's oh like update 1042 a.m. <laughs> yeah, Costco's out, you know, 1112. Um, Kroger's is out. It was. It was awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, he made fun of it. But, yeah, a lot of people are doing that. And then, and then part of it is when there's scarcity like this and you're reacting in a very emotional way, you're hyper prepping, you might buy 100 cases of toilet paper, which then takes up a lot of space in your house. And maybe you don't have any space for the sleeves of beef cans that you mentioned, for example. Space is a very limiting factor in a lot of this stuff. And you always have to think about space. The point is, is that when you're hyper prepping, 
you're being emotional. You're buying a case of nine millimeter ammunition for 60 cents a round when you should have had a bunch of nine millimeter so you don't need to buy it right now and you can wait if the price comes down, great. If the price doesn't come down, you still got You're it at 18 prepped. cents around. Yep. And, you know, prepping is one of these things. Not a lot of families have a line item in their budget for a lot of prepping. And so that difference between 18 cents around and 60 cents around is kind of a big deal. That's disposable income. That's a big deal. And when everything else in your budget is costing between 9 and 25% more this year, again, 25 is my guess, you're going to have even less disposable income, which means if you don't have nine millimeter now, you're probably not going to get it at those prices. And the inflation is going to apply to those prices. You can see how inflation changes the timing of every important decision that you need to make. So I'm going to add this, though, too, because if I I'm just putting myself in the shoe of shoes uh, of our listeners, going, they're saying, don't be hyper uh, hyper prepping. Um, okay, but you guys did it last year. I'm going to take that back a little bit. We, last year, we were not out buying toilet paper. Why? Because we already had 800 rolls. We did. 792, we were according do, to our we were walking, for real. Truly. We were walking into stores looking for those things in the same way that we are now, and we're encouraging you to do. Look for those 50 cent a can vegetables. Look mm-hmm. for those uh, dollar a can soups. I look for Progresso soups and I buy them at a dollar a can. I'm not kidding. Look for those things now that you can still get a good deal on and are good prepping foods. And we did it a lot a year ago because there were some crazy sales going on, but there was also some, we got a half a beef because we could. Uh, Yeah, so we... We did things at a faster pace, but we were already prepped and we weren't hyper prepped, prepping, yeah. panicking. And you, we, and we, we, were, uh, we were very actively prepping in 2020, yeah. but we weren't what we would call hyper prepping because we weren't making bad emotional decisions. Yes. What's the proof of that? Now, when we relocate to Montana, we're prepped. We have a ton of stuff that we got at very good prices that we know we're going to use. That is not hyper prepping. That is good planning. And and at a fraction of the price that you can buy it even now. Exactly. That's what's amazing to me. So be proud if that if you were one of those people. But also if you're not, the, the window is still open, especially on food items mm-hmm. and some specialty items, and even camping items. And and uh, it takes a little work to yeah. find these things. But, but now's they're the time. out there. So we're going to we're going to wrap up. But before we do, I just wanted to let folks know about the, the after show. As I previously mentioned, this is going to be a great topic. The unmasking of America, the the and Shelby did a great Victory Girls um, piece on this on her on her. The Victory Girls blog dot com. Yeah. And um, how it affects your prepping. So go ahead, Shelby, and take us out. Folks, don't forget, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Have a great week, everyone. You've been listening to Prepping 2.0 with authors Glenn Tate and Shelby Gallagher. All the information you've heard today, including all our previous shows, is online at prepping2-0.com. Find out more about Glenn's books at 299days.com and Shelby's books at agreatstate.com. Until next time, be smart, be safe, and be prepared.